Joaquin Sanchez Rodriguez, more commonly known as Real Betis legend Joaquin, finally hung up his boots at the end of a very, very long career. Over 700 club appearances for this legend. So now he's finally hung up his boots, I wanted to see what would happen if we put him back into the game as a fresh-faced teenager to do it all over again. Would he actually leave Betis like he did in real life a second time round, or would he be that one club legend? If we dive into the game, this is how Joaquin looks right here, right now. This is his actual profile in the game at the start of an FM23 game. You can see his career on the right-hand side, 218 appearances for Real Betis, then a little spell at Valencia, Malaga, Fiorentina before returning back to Spain. He's also got 51 caps for his national side, but you can see high corners, high crossing, high dribbling, and all of that good stuff. He was a very technical player and very, very good on the ball. I first came across this guy years ago reading a, a really old football magazine, and he was in it alongside Sergio Aguero and a couple of others who were highly thought after, and you can really see why. So, we have put him back into the game. Here he is as a fresh-faced teenager, 16 years of age, is Joaquin this time around. He's at Real Betis, and I'm really intrigued to see what happens with his career a second time around. We're going to jump forward 10 and then 20 years into the future to try and replicate his career just a little bit and see what happens. I think he's going to go on to have a really good career, but let me know down in that comment section if you think he is going to leave Real Betis to potentially go somewhere else. And if you do like these videos, guys, hit 100 likes on today's video and we will release the exact same, but with Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Obviously, now he himself has retired. So, let's jump forward 10 years into the future to see how this iteration of Joaquin is doing. Okay, guys, so 10 years into the future, he has left Real Betis, much like he did in real life, but this time he's moved his way over to Barcelona. Yes, if we take a look, he is now 26 years of age and look at the technical abilities on this guy as a winger of course he is right footed but that's 17 dribbling that 16 first touch high technique as well as you would expect nice high dribbling uh, vision off the ball all that flair pretty good pace as well 19 agility he now finds himself at the spanish giants they are barcelona and uh I'm very intrigued to say that he's not actually been capped by Spain yet. He was capped at under 21 level, where he got six caps and zero goals. 26 years of age, this kind of caliber player has not been capped by the Spanish national team, which is absolutely criminal, if you ask me. We'll take a look at his career stats. You can see Barcelona paid £25.5 million pounds for him, um, which is absolutely ridiculous money. Uh, to be honest, I think he's worth a lot more than that, especially in today's climate, let alone in the 27-28 season climate. Um, it took a little while to break into the Real Betis team, a uh, couple seasons, and then he's finally in there playing 30-plus games every year. He's only had one season where he's averaged under a 7 in La Liga, which is pretty impressive. Um, and he's scoring a decent amount of goals this season, or most recent season just gone. Eight goals, five assists for him, 7.35 is that average rating, which isn't too, too shabby. If we go into the milestones, you can kind of see some of the competitions that he has won himself here. Um, as I said, he was capped first by Spanish, uh, the Spanish under 20 one's team and then he's got his major honors since being at Barcelona a couple La Ligas as well which is pretty comprehensive one two three four La Liga titles over the last few years which is pretty darn impressive um, and then runners up in a lot of other competitions won the Super Cup twice three times uh, and he's finally got his hands on a Copa del Rey so he's kind of completed football in Spain, but hasn't really picked up anything beyond that. He's been in a couple team of the weeks, was uh, part of the Spanish League play, uh, was the Spanish League player of the season, sorry, in 2030, 2031. So he's done pretty well there, but nothing else beyond that. Hasn't really set the world alight, despite looking at his profile, he's still very, very good. Um, I would love him as a winger in my team. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to jump forward another 15 years and we're going to see how this guy gets on towards the end of his career. Does he stay at Barcelona? Does he make other moves? Let's go find out. So we are now 20 years into the career re-simulation of Joaquin, and he's not actually made it to the same age that he retired at in real life, which is pretty impressive. I really thought he would get there. He is now a unemployed 
fitness coach, which is ridiculous. He's also got a fitness rating of one as a coach, which is just really, really poor. We'll take a look at his career history, and you can see here he has bounced around a little bit since uh, being at Barcelona when we were last there. He's since shot over to AC Milan for £48.5 million. He's had a nice little stint in Serie A for four seasons there. Um, but he did, he's, he's done pretty, pretty well. And then he moved back to Spain, over to Sevilla for £3.2 million. AC really doing him dirty there in the year 2038-39. Uh, letting him go for dirt cheap, I would say. He still must have been pretty useful at this point. Um, he even almost got capped for Sevilla C, which is... A bit of a decline in his career, for sure. And he had two decent seasons in La Liga, to be honest. Not really hit the heights over his early career. Maybe kind of fell off a bit. And then took a, took a detour over to Ligue 2 to play for Angers um, in his final season, which was the 2040-42 season. We're just at the 6th of July 2042 right now. And yeah, he has retired from football on the 12th of the 6th this year. Um, he did finally get Angers promoted to the uh, to League 1. So let's go and have a look at some of his competitions as well. Um, obviously, he continued to dominate at Barcelona, as you kind of would expect the past couple of years. Picked up a couple more Copa del Reyes, a couple Super Coppers, another La Liga title, which is pretty impressive for him. Then he took his talents over to Italy, over to Milan. Uh, Coppa Italia winners and Serie A winners in 2037, so a League and Cup double there. Another League back-to-back -back Serie A titles. And then, as I said, he's got Angers promoted from League in that most recent season. Let's have a look and see how they did just because I can. They got promoted in second. So fair, fair play to him for getting a, a Ligue 2 side promoted. But that's ultimately a bit of a disappointing one in terms of his career and how he's kind of been perceived and how he's kind of got on. We're shortlisted for the Italian Player of the Year, uh, Italian Serie A Player of the Year, but it doesn't look like he's won that. I assume he's got nowhere near the old Ballon d'Or. My assumption is no. Um, but this guy from Monaco, we'll take a look at him in a, in a, in a sec because he has been popping off. Some of these new gens looking absolutely crazy. I'm just kind of flicking through really quickly just to see if we can pick up any of these, uh, any of his appearances. It doesn't look like he's got there. Let's have a look at this guy. Ooh, mama. He looks crazy good for a winger yes please we like those um but it doesn't look like he has got the job done but it's a very interesting career simulation you still get to see him leave Rabetis and ultimately didn't continue as long as he did in real life which is very weird I really thought he was gonna do that as I mentioned if you did want to see the Zlatan Ibrahimovic remade uh, please get this video to 100 likes that'd be really really uh, appreciated and if you do like the other experimental content on FM 23 check out this playlist it's all the other experiments that we've done on this year's game.